Hello and welcome to the seventh tutorial from ITME. Now in the previous two videos I talked about autofill and flash fill feature. In this video I'm going to talk a little bit more advanced stuff related to fill feature so let's get started. Okay so uh, we talked about autofill so that if you need to perform the fill operation like sequential numbers you can use autofill. So let me show you how we did before. I put number one here, number two to provide a sequence and then I can click the fill handle and then drag it down. So this dragging is fine for smaller number of records but if you have like hundreds and thousands of records it's pretty tedious to scroll down right. So in this case now what we need to do is we can simply double click on the fill handle and it will fill down. So let me go to the last row pressing control down arrow key and you can see it has filled the record still 1000. So this is quite good shortcut you can use for filling up if you are already inside the table. But if you are on a blank document, so let me press Ctrl N to go to the new document. And if I want to perform some fill operations, so over here I'm going to talk about some other options that we didn't discuss before. So filling down, filling right, up and left. So as of now you can see that the filling down is disabled because it fills from the cell up. So if I enter some data over here, and now when I go over here, and you see that fill down is enabled and control D is the shortcut for that. So if I select that and whatever data you have in the above cell that gets copied down. And same thing happens if you have, if you want to copy the data to more than one cells down below, then you need to select all the cells along with that cell that is having the data. Then press control D or just click on fill down and then that, that gets copied. Okay and same way it goes for other directions also same way you can use fill right fill up and fill left also now talking about filling series so if you have entered the data over here suppose number one and now you want to fill up the series down like five for 500 or 1000 then you would be using this fill series so i just entered the number one and then i go to the home tab editing in the fill i select over here series and from here series you see that we have different sections in the series dialog box we have series in you want to fill the series horizontally that is by rows or you want to fill in the series vertically in a column so i want to fill in a column vertically then we have different options what type of series you want you want to have a linear series that increments by a particular number or a growth date and autofill so i want to increment by a particular number and by how much you want to increment if you have already given the trend you can select this checkbox that I it will automatically see what is the trend and it will automatically decide but I want to specify that it should increment by one and then here it's asking you what is the stop value so I want it to stop on 500 and then I click on OK so now you see that it has filled till 500 so let me go to the last record pressing control down arrow key and you are on the last record so you can see it filled till 500 now same way we can perform some other operations if I say I want to start from number one and the next value should be the double of the first value so in this case I would be using growth so again I select this first cell fill and fill the series I want to fill in vertically so I'll select column here I want to do the growth and that growth should be two times right so it should be double the previous number and I want to stop at number thousand okay so this is how we can specify the growth and now when I click on OK and you see that every number is the double of the previous number now coming on to the next option working with dates so if I enter 1st January 2018 and now if I want to perform the fill operation all the dates till the December 31st of 2018 I can go to fill fill in series and then again I'm gonna select over here column fill in the date it has automatically detected that we have a date so this is a date radio button is already selected I want all the days increasing by one so if you want to skip in days between you can specify how many days you want to skip in between and then we have what is that stop value now a stop value will not be an integer it should be a date data type right and it should be because my original settings are set to United States so it should be MMDDYY so I want to go till December that is 12 31st slash 2018 and now when I click on OK and you see all the values are generated so if I press control down arrow key uh, let me make it wide and you can see that we have till 31st of December control up arrow key right 
and now we want only the weekdays for example so again I can press 1 January 2018 and fill fill the series and this time I'm gonna fill only the weekdays so as per US it's Friday uh, it's Saturday and Sunday is off so weekdays I want to increase by one and the stop value would be December slash 31st slash 2018 right so this text is not wide enough as you are typing the initial 12 is gone but it's still there I can use the arrow key so when I move left you can see that value is still there so now when I click on OK, be careful over here, it should be column, else it will fill in the rows horizontally. I want it vertically, select column, date, only weekdays. I don't want to use any trend, just increase by one. And a stop value is 31st of December 2018. Click on OK, and you get all these values. So you can see over here, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, and then we have 6th and 7th of January was Saturday and Sunday. That's why it's not shown here. Let's try once more. 1st January 2018 fill in the series and again I want to fill in vertically date and I want to fill all the months so every month's first date it will automatically select and I want to go all over till December 31st 2018 incrementing by one so if you don't if you want like every third month you can put three 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 over here click on OK and you can see you are getting the first of every month till December 2018 same thing we can do for years also if I say 1st January 2018 and then I fill in series I want to fill it vertically date fill the year increase every year so increment by one and I want to go till 1st January 2030 and I click on OK so now you can see it has generated incrementing every year okay so this is how we can perform the fill operation now other option over here is you can see we have across worksheet this is disabled this is basically the to copy the data from one sheet to other worksheets so as of now we have only one worksheet we need to go to some other worksheet then I'm going to show you that thing so now let's go to the sample worksheet and we had sales worksheet okay so for example this sheet was for 2018 and I want to create a similar sheet for 2019 you can simply click double click on the tab so it gets renamed 2020 so I want to have that this data should get copied in all the remaining sheets so I just need to select this first sheet and then press shift key and then select the last if you don't want all of them you can also use control key but this is how what uh, we do select first sheet press shift key and then press the last sheet now what I, can I do is that I can go fill and you can see now this option is enabled now the condition of this is that it should be only one range that is selected now if I go back here if I say I want to just have the headers like this range I press control key and I select this range now this way I have selected two ranges. now this time if I go over here fill uh, let me select the other sheets also now if I try to perform fill across sheets and here it's asking you want to copy everything that is content as well as the formatting or you just want to copy the content or you just want to copy the formatting so I just want to copy everything so I say all and I click on OK now here you are getting an error that this can be done on multiple range selection so this is the prerequisite that you can only copy one range so you to have to copy if you want like this you want to copy first of all vertical range and then the horizontal range so I'll just click on OK and I will select the entire range and make sure my all the three sheets are enabled you can see that all of them they are appearing in white color with the green underlined below all the tabs now let me go ahead across all the sheets I want to copy everything I don't have in fact any formatting so even if I select content then also would be fine so I click on OK and now let's check that whatever data we have over here so you can see that exact whatever data we had on the first sheet that got copied to other three sheets also okay now talking about the the last option that is justify right so we can do over here is this is basically used for text so if you have uh, this 
is a sample text. So normally when you enter some long text, what it does is it wraps up to the next column. It's not going to the next cell. It is still in the same cell. But as the next cell is not having any content, so it's just showing you. If I put some value over here, you can see it gets clipped off, right? So other option would be that I can enable wrapping. So if I enable wrapping, what it would do is it will increase the height of the cell and that will show all the content. So if I click here and you can see it has increased the height. So this is not what I want. I want to have this cell coming across two or three rows, but it should show all the content of the text. It should not get clipped off like this. So in this case, I can select this. I go over here to fill and then I select justify. So when I click justify and that's showing you that we have that it will extend the ranges because I have not selected any cell. So it will maybe come, it will come to two rows or three rows. I click on OK and you see it has copied all that data. So it is not clipping anymore and it's coming in three rows. If I adjust this column a little bit wide more, again, I can say that I want to fill it, fill justify uh, let's select all fill justify and now you can see it is able to accommodate in just two lines so this is how we can use this justify feature and the last option is flash fill we have already used flash fill control e was the shortcut so hope you like this video if you have any questions or comments please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video